Hello. Friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. John Webster, where are you? Call me. Viewers, thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. It's Saturday. I'm making it through time. Nothing seems to be going. This thing seems to be going. I mean, I got a burrito. And it's uh, the mid-evening today. Sometimes it's late at night. Sometimes it's in the daytime. Back to about 6.30. This was the time that we were doing it. Like, uh, for a couple of weeks now. Maybe a week ago. Mmm. There's a good burrito there. Oh, it's good. We got something you're going to shove down your face. <laughs> to me. Other foods. I don't know how I feel about it, but the burrito, solid food, solid food for sure. Yesterday I did the program on uh, Friday, must have been in the morning. Was it with Jen? Was Jen here yesterday? It was so long ago now. I think Jen was here at about 10.30 a.m. And now I'm doing it in the evening. When you do the show, like right when you wake up, and then the next day, not doing that same thing. It can get weird. It can be like so long ago, so much time has passed. It almost feels like I missed a day. Did I miss a day? It's like, what was going on yesterday? I'm just waiting a full day, full time to do this thing. And now we're back at like around again. Like all the way back around. I've been this, putting this Korean sauce on uh, different kinds of food. What did I have? Uh, yesterday I was eating oh, McDonald's. Yeah, I put this um, Korean hot sauce on McDonald's on the day before that. I think I was putting it on the Korean food. One of those days, but now I'm putting it on this burrito, Korean sauce on a burrito. It's mixing cultures. That's good, bro. Hard to know if the sauce is going to go back just a little bit fermenty, I think. But is being spicy a uh, um, preservative? Seems a little. Harmful to biology. That's what preservatives are. I don't know if that's what preservatives are, because if they are, then you eat them, but most of them, they go right through you. I guess hot sauce does in a way also. Yeah, woke up, got on the bus. I don't know, I probably rode my bike down here last night. And then uh, did the program early in the morning. And then afterwards, there's my little wounds sealing up. Yes, afterwards I went to uh, see a movie before I must have come here and stopped by and you know, refill my water. 
take a look around and stuff. And then I got back on the uh, the movie. So new Tarantino movie on the film instead of uh, on uh, whoa, what's going on out there? Police. Oh, they're right there, huh? Going slow, something's happening. They're right outside. Am I about to be raided? I didn't do it. I wasn't paying more attention to this burrito than to the, what was going on out there. Maybe I should have looked. Keep paying attention. Doesn't sound like I can't hear anything. But mostly I'm listening to the waves in the ocean anyway. Well, I saw this movie at the Capitol Theater. And uh, it was uh, the new Quentin Tarantino movie on film. They're playing it on film and projecting it. And they had some, some little projection deals and stuff. You could see the X's and stuff you couldn't see in a regular movie usually. Uh, I saw my brother there. He was there. He saw the movie too. So maybe we'll call him. Uh, he went to Five Guys first, too. Yeah, I think the police are gone. It will be available today on Saturday. It's hard to know. Uncle, well, last night he was at the movie, so it wouldn't have been available. I tried to call him. I said not try to call him yesterday because it was too late, so maybe we should call Grandma anyway. I'm pretty sure I skipped the day. But I... Saw the movie, ate some popcorn and stuff, and then I rode my bike back to my residence to lay my head. And today I just woke up and didn't do much. Uh, laid around him. Went to uh, the west side for no reason to you know, go for a walk, basically. I don't know if I've been leaving the neighborhood. I'm thinking about I, I may have not been leaving the neighborhood. So I did. I left the neighborhood, but then it just came back. Here's the last day of my bus pass for the month, and I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a new monthly pass or not. It's nice to be able to get on the bus whenever I want and not have to pay the money, but how nice is it? It's nice to... Like, be sure of having a bus ride, but usually I'm only riding one bus anyway. I'm probably not going to ride the bus very often anymore, so who knows. I'm just going to see what I'm going to be doing on Monday anyway. Let's take a look at the phones. Oh, we got a good amount of voicemails. Mark really did it up today. I was going to, um, maybe check the tape stuff too. Oh, and Gene, Mr. Ginsu. Here's Gene. We'll call Gene first. Maybe we'll call Freddie the producer, and then Gene. I think Freddie's going to be at work, so. Hello, program. This is Gene Squires from Greenfield, Massachusetts. And it's Friday night. You called earlier in the day when I was at work, because now I go to work. But I don't go to work on the weekends. So, Saturday, it's a different uh, schedule, you know? It's What's like the, uh, the rest of the people in the world. Not all of them. Definitely not all of them. But a lot of people work from Monday to Friday. So, sorry for the long message. Um, I my sorry. streets are now, I, I bike to work, right? I bike to the school. And the funny thing is that I pass Vermont Street, you know, I'm from Vermont. Yeah. And then I take a left on Summer Street. Remember how I just left? And then I have the summer here. Yeah, and then well. I pass Harrison. Oh, yeah. Can you believe it? 
these are only a couple streets that I pass. And then I take a right on something else, and then I go take a left on something else to my school at Four Corners. So that's the big time story. Sorry for the long message. And I'll talk with you sometime. Goodbye. <laughs> what are you listening in the background, dude? Bah! Bah! Leave real long messages, Gene. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Gene Squires. Gene Squires. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hello, Gene. It's the program. You can call us back. Look at these carrots. Mexican store. I mean, a burrito from California Tacos. You got any burritos in Vermont? You read the one from California Tacos? You can call back. I have about 50 minutes to play some phone tag. Leave real long messages. It's good. The longer the better, really. Okay, bye. Leave three. Real long. Call Freddy Producer. Oh, oh, Gene's calling us back right now. Playing phone tag. some phone tag. Yep, yep. But we won. We yeah. won the phone tag. Won phone tag. You awake? I am. Yep, it is only 9.47. <laughs> oh, okay. But it is actually, I have been getting, I'm in bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. But, I'm ready to sleep because yeah. it's, uh, school. it's not a school night, but you got to go to school. Yeah, it's Saturday night, <laughs> but I was... Yeah, I laid down in bed at 9.07. I was like, geez, I'd like to sleep now. But I guess I should watch a TV show. Yeah. So I wake up. So I did that, a little 20-minute TV show. Yep. So, uh, and then I called. I don't yeah. sleep much, yeah. Watching TV. Yeah. Uh, you don't sleep much? I, I don't sleep much because of the TV. Well, I sleep a good amount, but I still watch a lot of TV from bed, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, how's, the, how's the job? You got a job? I have a job, yep. Yep. Uh, maybe the poorest paying job I've had at my adult life. Oh. <laughs> but I think they're in negotiations, union negotiations. I'm part of a union. Uh, yeah, the, and it's still the worst paying job even though I thought the union jobs are supposed to be better uh yeah yeah um yeah I think well someone said that maybe it was going to be a three dollar raise so then if that's the case then it will be up to a more regular pay that's huge yeah I think minimum. It's huge, yeah. huge. I've never gotten that. Yeah, that's crazy. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. So, but that was a, yeah, a woman said that, but she seems like a woman who is a respectable woman who would know what's going on. They pay, so, I think they pay less overall over there than over here, probably. Maybe. Yeah, I think, I think that, like, AIDS are paid poorly. Well, my friend who's a teacher in Tacoma said that 
the aides up there, paraeducators, are paid really badly. Yeah. But I don't know if it's this badly. Like, this was just 25 cents over minimum wage, I think. Mm. Maybe it was 75 cents. I'm not sure what it is. Well, I think not it's not a Anyway, so it's really bad. Yeah, and my job's going to be crazy, Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. You, yep. you got a, what, what are you doing, preschool? Uh, it is, I mean, like, sort of based in the, in the special ed classroom of the kids that have, like, very special needs, or high, high needs special ed. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and I have two kids that I support, so I could support one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And the one in the afternoon is so difficult that we can't. He's the only kid in the school that they uh, split because he's too exhausting to be with for a whole day. Mm. Yeah. And a little bit stressful. He is big, he's in fourth grade, and he climbs. So yesterday, he climbed and then fell on me with his full oh. weight on my... Yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy. What's he climbing on? The window sill. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever the hell he can, actually. Yeah. Mm. I thought maybe he would be, or you'd be watching, like, the immobile kids or something. Not that yeah. There's some of them, too, but uh, the kid's harder than yeah. that. I think there's only one kid that is, has, like, super health issues. She's in the room, too. But, um, yeah. Is he, are, you, but, are you friends with the kid? Or is he mad? Uh, he doesn't understand her much. Mm. He's nonverbal. Oh, okay. Um, oh, he cried sometimes. I think he was having a really rough day yesterday. Oh. But it's like, we have no idea. What's going on? He grabs things. He grabs my shirt and things and won't let go. Tries to. We have to like. It's weird. We like try to teach him through bribing him or being like, you get an M and M if you touch your head. Yeah. I said, and you touch it. I'm not lying. And the computer guides me through all of these tests, discrete tests. They're called, and then we get all the data, and then maybe he gets better, or he doesn't get better, or oh. so we can try to teach him some kind of understanding and communication. I think it's like an autism uh, thing on the internet. Uh, yeah, but they probably pay a lot of money. Uh oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm drinking a little bit of water. I just <coughs> drink water weird. <coughs> oh no. Yeah. Well, <coughs> yeah, you like uh. You like having a job? It's like a, probably a stress. I mean, it's stressful to have the job, but it's um, stress relief it's to really have a job. It's really nice to have a job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. Doing, yeah. doing things. Yeah, exactly. Solving problems. Yeah. Putting energy in places. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> they got taco trucks in uh, Massachusetts? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's very good. I've seen one in this town. Yeah. Uh, I went to Applebee's tonight. Oh. Not my idea. Not my idea. Applebee's is bad. It's a word. I, I, I won't even eat Applebee's, really, usually. Uh, but. Yeah, I was sort of shocked. I, yeah, I hang out with the lady who I talked to you once, one late one night. Um, and she has a grandson, and she, like, just uh, gives him what he wants all the time. It's really, it's pretty wild. Uh, so, like, we wanted to go out to Thai. She wanted to go out to Thai. I agreed Thai would be great. And then yeah. uh -huh. she just, like, asked him, like, oh, should we go to Thai or Applebee's? Thai or Applebee's? Should we go? And I was like, um... <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> the apple piece. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we did, and then it was pricey, and then her meal was really like peppery, like way too peppery, Whoa. and then she just threw out that and asked for more. 
It was bad? But then Knoxville ate the really, really bad ribs. It was really weird. And then we just, like, hung out there, and there's, like, a little, uh, like, uh, game console on the table that the kid was liking, and she was liking, and I was just like, why aren't we going home? <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me out of Applebee's. Yeah, was it like that little thing where you can like pay pay the money to the the waiter and the kid was actually playing no, that there? It's a different thing. It's just a little console. I think it goes mostly to uh, games. I think it's games, which you know is brilliant because what kid doesn't want to play video games? Well, yeah, yeah they, it's like in the table. It's not in it. It moves around. It's like a little, little laptop touchy thing, tablety thing. Yeah, it's not the thing but you, you can pay. Up, stands up. No, nope. we had a regular waitress took the money. Oh yeah. Have you seen those yeah. things? I don't. Those things are awful. Oh, I can imagine them, but I don't think I've seen them. Is it in the table? It's no. It's like, on the. It's, 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 it's on the table, but. It, they have them at like Red Robin and Outback Steakhouse and like, uh, like medium, like low end medium places. Uh, yeah. Like table service, Ooh. but still bad. So I imagine they still have it yeah. at Applebee's. Applebee's. Yeah. Is, yeah. I think it's worse. It's worse than Burger King. Uh, Did you? Yeah, it was like really salty. I yeah. must admit, I had to race to the right bathroom when I got home, and I assumed that it was Applebee's. Not feeling good. Maybe did, did you eat? Did no. You, did you eat there? You, what did you eat? I ate, I ate fajitas, like lime blasted chicken fajitas. <laughs> blasted, huh? I don't know. I might be making that up. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Something like that, yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, uh... It's awful. I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Why am I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but look, usually I'd be paranoid that she'd watch, and but she won't watch this episode. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Lots <laughs> of Applebee's. And was she going to be offended about Applebee's? I thought you I liked mean, Applebee's. I, I didn't bad enough it. I, I stayed nice, but I was, you know, I, like, let things leak out. Like, oh, yeah, I don't trust this. Like, I don't think this is going to be, oh, yeah, it's or, overpriced, maybe, you know. Yeah, you could say, maybe I don't want to go here. Yeah, but that's hard. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, you're right, maybe I should just be honest. This probably would have been the thing. I've been to... Yeah, I've been to Applebee's before, like only like twice, but it's awful. Mm-hmm. The funny thing about Applebee's is that uh, there's an Applebee's mm, near where my parents live, like on the, the ugly corner that's closest to my house. They don't live, they live on the nice little pond or, or around the lake, uh, not by it, but near it. Uh... Why is it I talk about this? Oh, yeah. And my mom, for for the last few years, has been leaning in real hard on suggesting I move back to the East Coast, which, look, I did, mm. right? Yep. Really? Um, but one of those pushes was like, you could get a job at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Whoa. wow>. great. <laughs> Thank you, mother. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. That's going to be a perfect for me. Yeah, definitely want to move across the country back to work at Applebee's. Yeah. Uh, why, yep. why is she saying that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she thinks I'm a teenager still and would be looking to work at Applebee's. I don't know. Do you like, uh, does she like Applebee's? No. I don't think they go there ever. <laughs> She's just like, out of all places? I yeah, I mean, we were driving by. So maybe it was just a, a visual, just had an urge to try to get me to move and but throw it out there. Yeah. Yeah, what an awful mm-hmm. place. Yeah. I mean, I go to McDonald's. It's like, worse than, it's like worse than McDonald's and like three times the price. 
Yeah. It's so salty. I think maybe, are all those things too salty these days? Because salt is like something that people eat more. Like, they, they want you to uh, drink booze. They don't want you to drink? Or they, wait, do. they do want you to drink. They do. They make it salty so that you'll want to have another beer or another drink. Yeah, they're trying to sell you beers. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Huh? That's why they give out like peanuts or something I heard. Uh, mm -hmm. I can see that. Drink some beers, some uh, apple peenies. Mm -hmm. uh, How's uh, Phil? Phil's good. Uh, he was just on my belly for a bit. I moved a little bit, maybe too much, and he just takes off. He just walks out of the room fast. Yeah. Like, what the hell are you doing? I'm done with you. Yep. Uh, but I gave him his wet food. He enjoyed that. He came upstairs, drank his little water, likes to walk into the closet for some reason. He's not peeing. It's okay. He just likes to walk in there. And then he came and sat with me while I watched Shit's Creek. Yep. Mm. I, I I watched most of that show. Uh, he's he's running around. Do you, you uh? Is it a public school that you're working at, like the regular school? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, the <laughs> the lack of training for this job was insane. So it was just like, yeah. they didn't even tell me who I was working with until the day before. I like to eat like like twelve thirty the day before the kids showed up. Uh, and gave me no. There's like one half day of like vague training, like think like your clients probably can do more than you think they can do. Yeah. Don't limit your clients. Like that was the afternoon, <laughs> and uh, well, you yeah, crazy. You had ex uh, you have to had experience or something to have the job. Not really. I think they'll hire anyone pretty much. Oh yeah. But uh, but mostly people have no. But people have experience probably because it's hard. Uh, yeah. Who else would even so do that? You enjoy it. Yeah. You know, you're like walk in and you're like, oh, I'm really just really hard thing that's pretty poorly paid. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't give me full full time work, but still takes up most of my daytime. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. But, but, yeah. Uh, but it's really nice to do something, and I hope that I will it's not nice. get injured. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so they got I'll, summer school I'm working with, um, um, There is summer school. I don't think it's like you necessarily, I think you can pick up summer school and work at But isn't it summer? Know. It's still summer, though, right? No, it's done in the summer. The kids came on Wednesday. Oh, they're back. Is that everywhere? Uh, I think different school. I mean, it is in our, in my district, but I think some, like, other places, people are still starting. And I know private school. My friend teaches at a private school. They are starting uh, next week. Oh, but soon. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad the summer's over. You're glad? I'm glad. Yeah. Think of being hot. Too hot. Uh. <laughs> it's a little bit hot now. I want it to get cooler, and I'm happy that it's uh, getting darker earlier. And, Whoa. Uh, that is a weird thing. Happy it's getting darker earlier. I'm happy. Goodbye, <laughs> summer. Go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like when I watch the program, you're usually like, it's too hot. Yeah, it's too and, hot. But then I heard it wasn't a hot summer, or it, it wasn't, wasn't a nice no. summer or something. It wasn't like, I feel like it was a pretty tame summer. It wasn't oppressively hot too much. Mm -hmm. And when it like, I don't remember it being like, the summer just being like, ah, you know, mm -hmm. so hot that mm -hmm. it was just unbearable almost. It was just like, Slightly uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. So that's good. Um, uh, I heard they said like they're talking about that it was going to be the hottest summer ever. 
but I, I guess it, it hasn't happened. It didn't happen. Hmm. Everywhere or in Olympia or in, in other places Olympia, or in the world? In oh, or something. <laughs> or in in the area. I don't know where I heard that. That was a rumor. That was a rumor I heard from somewhere. I don't know. I think somebody mm -hmm. just said it to me one time. I don't know if it was in the area or whatever it was. They said, right. you know, you know, they said what they're saying. It's gonna be really mm -hmm. hot, the hottest one ever. Yeah. So right, right. And then I've been saying that. Somebody else said it. I don't even know who it was. Yeah. <laughs> Flew around for a while. Um, I'm a little sad. I mean, it's been really beautiful here, but I'm a little sad because I like to go swimming. Yeah. And it definitely has not felt like, oh, well, I should go swimming today. And that seems a little thoughtful to me. No more swimming. Nice they built... They built the like water park on the west side for the kids, and I don't think they're going to be using it very much. Mm, it's very hard to hear you now. They built a, a water park on the west side. Oh yeah, along Harrison. But yeah. it's already like pretty much too like not hot enough for that. Mm. That's too bad. Yeah. Mm. So mm. they're going to have to use it next year, I guess. Mm -hmm. It'll make it hotter. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll get some action eventually. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I know you were called. You called the other day, and you said you were watching the episode about on Monday about oh the murders. Yeah. And something else too. I don't remember what it was. Bernie Sanders. I feel like you always just toss him off as a joke, and that's annoying to me. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, Stop it. I don't respect Bernie Stop Sanders. It. Yeah, you're like, oh, we can't believe him. Come on now. Joe and Bernie Love. Yeah, He's you're a, 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 a heavy supporter? I just think he's the one who makes... Well, I haven't been paying that much attention. I, but uh, the one debate that I watched, it just... And from what I've heard, everyone else, like, has learned the talking points. And they've picked up progressive talking points, but they're not actually progressive people. Yeah. They're trying to play this game where he's like not trying to play the game. He's trying to make sure that rich people don't control and run our world and screw the rest of us. Right? Yeah. It's creepy. It's, uh. And I feel like that's something that's easy to just. I don't know. Like, I, I like, why dismiss that? I don't like it. Yeah. But, um, I just, I just, I, I just don't see him winning. Maybe I should Why support not? him. <laughs> because, like, Trump won. He's a, he's a maniac. Yeah. Yeah, he's, people, he's, people like a maniac. a maniac. The maniac thing is, is good for him. I well, think well, people, I mean, people want a maniac. People want a maniac. You got to find a half -y maniac kind of guy. He's yelling. He's a good guy. For being the maniac. Yeah. He should be like the vice president to like somebody really cool. Maybe. You know? <laughs> Get on there. Something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. hey, people are going to vote for him. I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm uh, concerned about the election anyway. In Trump other or way. Trump? They're going to go for Trump over him? I, 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 it's like, it's a hard to beat an incumbent if we're going to talk about it. It's, it makes me kind of scared because the d Democrats are always going to... Oh, it's very hard to hear you again. The, it's hard to beat an incumbent, uh, or historically, mm -hmm. in, in, incumbent presidents often win. Uh, the Democrats just seem to be separated because of the, the process of being, getting the, the nomination. And but they're going to come back together as soon as it's decided. Yeah, that's what they say. But Everyone is going to back whoever is picked. So why not pick the person you actually want to win? Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Um, nobody else is saying anything. Think... Nobody else is really telling me to support anybody, so I might as well listen to you. Great. Oh, actually, my brother, my brother wants this Yang guy. You know about Yang? I heard you guys talking about it on that episode. Oh yeah. 
Is he is he uh, like a guy out of California that made millions off of tech? I don't know who he is, but he apparently he has. All I know is that he has the Yang Gang, and that he wants to give everybody a thousand dollars a month or something. Right. Like that. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I can hear. I heard your argument that it would just. Uh, um, if, if if everybody has a thousand dollars and nobody does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, just... universal basic income. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. We already see how you know we just have rich people coming in to take the apartments, and then so then they charge more for the apartments and those other apartments, and then yeah, it would just raise yeah. the price on everything, and then it would be that's how the system works. If not, you gotta yeah, it just readjusts, and you get a different bottom row. Yeah. So, yeah. But you still don't have any more power, yeah. Yeah, it's not, you don't have any more power. You're not, you probably can't even get, I mean, can you even get stuff? Like, you're not going to be able to get stuff. I, I think the prices are going to raise, if that happens, then the prices yeah. are going to raise so much that it's going to be like nothing anyway, and then you're going to have a hard time if you don't make, if you're already making, like, yeah. about that much money, it, then, mm-hmm. then, like, what are you going to do when everybody else has that much money, and then you have to raise the price on everything? And, like, yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm going to... Yeah, it seems silly. Uh, uh, yeah, and well, I, I have heard other people who, uh, who I trust more to look at the the group of our options, and they are for Bernie too. So my yeah, so my gut yeah. feeling has been reinforced from the people that I respect their opinion. So I like. You can go meet him. He's from Vermont. Maybe you can meet him. Sanders. I don't know if you want to. Uh, he came to my high school in, uh, when I was in junior high, or high school, or junior high. Yeah. But I think he just had like a big throat surgery or something. He had, I don't know if it was cancer or something, and he lost his voice for a good while. And so yeah. I don't think he could talk very well. <laughs> he, went, he went to high school, but he didn't say anything? Uh, I mean, I just don't remember it very much, but I remember, like, entering the auditorium and seeing him. But, you know, how lonely he is. Mine is bad. Mm. Um, so he's, he's, he exists, then, at least. He was there, yep, he does exist, yep. Because yep. I kind of always think that all the politicians are uh, holograms. Mm-hmm. Well, he's been, you know, he's in Vermont. Uh, like a representative or now senator for Vermont for forever, like yeah. for most of my life. So that's fun, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh no. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah. What's going on over there? Well, we have about 20 minutes left, and we do have more messages. Oh yeah. Well, that's good. I'm going to talk to Fred some more. He had to go to the bathroom. We were oh, calling. Fred's we there? We were chatting. No, no. Oh. He's there. He's over by you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but then you were calling and he had to go to the bathroom. Mm. So he thought it might work out. We do that. All right. Thanks, Gene. We'll talk to you later. Keep calling the messages. We'll talk to you later. All right. Have a good night. Uh, it's called Grandma. What about Freddie, the producer? And I'm going to get to all these other messages. Hey, program. Hey, Freddie, how are you? I'm good. I'm mopping the floor at OCR. Uh, closing down soon? What's that? No, we're closed, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mopping. That's good. You got to mop the place after everybody steps on it. People track dirt and all the time. Yeah, it was kind of slow today, but it was very messy eaters. Mm. You ever mop at home? Because I like almost never mop at home. And sometimes I think nope, about I mop like every day. We do mop. This is why every day in my home is never mopped. Not even one. Yeah. 
But I don't have like a mop bucket or a mop sink or any of that stuff, which would make it easier. Yeah. I don't, I don't even have a mop. <laughs> oh, yeah. We probably do. I think we got like a swiffer and yeah. like you could attach a towel to the bottom. Yeah, a moist towel. You, uh, how, how are the ants? I guess. No ants. Oh, no ants at home or in the cafe today. That's good. Yeah. Um, how's the, how's the production end going? It's good. You know, not much has changed. Kate is still out of town, but we're like all caught up so that there's enough for enough episodes at 11.30 every night at uh episode from like four weeks ago on the same day of the week yeah. and at 2 a.m it's episode all the way back from the first year of the program right now wow pretty soon it's almost september 19th and then it's going to be from the second year of the program wow did we uh acknowledge our year i mean we must have the first time around I yeah i imagine we must have it's like pretty big Hard not to remember September 19th. Yeah. I was thinking about September 19th and about how I believe that it's closer to a new year than actual New Year's. Mm hmm And I told myself, I think around that time, that I was going to make it, like, my, you know, uh, internal New Year. And it's the big change of the season. Everything. I think it's a, a better season change time than the middle of winter. Oh yeah, that's so right. It's, it's like summer to fall. It's a more. It's more of a real change than uh, than like. I think it's a better ender and beginner. I think summer is a better ender and fall is a better beginner than the middle of winter yeah. being both. So, Happy Hayakuba. Yeah, it's coming up soon. Uh, Hayakuba, because today's the last day of the month actually too. So I'm gonna get this stuff in the box and then we got the boxes ready and we'll start a new box. For, uh, oh, a new box yeah. time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We just made a new box. We're going to make another one. Yeah, every month. Because the last time we were back, backed up two months. Yep, now we're, we're good. Okay. We'll get it. Yeah, I'll make a new box. Well, program, I'm really, really going to be more difficult for me to talk to you uh, and, and close at the same time right, than if bye. I don't. Bye, Freddy. Bye. Uh, okay, well, well, Mr. Ginsu and Mark left a ton of messages, too. Oh, but what about Grandma? Oh, man. I call Grandma. I think my brother is going to be there, too. I always want to call people and get, keep them on the phone as long as possible. But sometimes we have extra uh, more people to call. Phone. Leave a name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Grandma. Are you there? It's me. Not, um, um, hello. Okay, bye. Right. Mr. Ginsu.
I don't think fucking I like this place enough to freaking drop down with the motherfucking shit. What? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yarr. I don't think so. I have to think on that. It's just maybe I'm in a bad mood. And I just happen to come up with something that I'm like, eh. Well, simple enough, I suppose, depending upon this, that, and the other, which is, oh, for the fact. Yar! Bitch. All sorts of liabilities. Now I start thinking on it. So fucking, yeah, it's liable to be a fucking with that fuck. I don't need that shit. I wouldn't mind some money, though. Yeah, give me a dollar. Yeah, right, maybe. Right. Well, see. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to be patient on that motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, fucking fuck up. Patience. This gives you a little patient. Tell myself. Just be patient. Not because it's any kind of virtue or anything. Just Why, because. Uh, Not for virtues, huh? Be a patient, never totally. A definite lack of virtue, uh, though. Oh, once in a while. That's for sure. It ain't no fun, patient. Hmm. Silent treatment, so. <laughs> but, but, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever. whatever. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I just gotta be patient. Give people a little bit of space and time. Patience. About what? I'm not sure. What he's talking about. <laughs> Mr. Gensu. been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Zero. One. Three. Five. Available. Mr. Gintz, it's program calls back. Where are you? Okay, about uh, 10 minutes today. Oh, yeah, no grandma is. Well, Mark left us several messages, like four, but I'm going to record a message to the future. Hey! future it's us of the past it is saturday and uh I talked to gene over there in massachusetts for a long time freddie's closed with that no mopping at home mopping at the place uh mr ginsu didn't answer mark left a bunch of messages too Ooh, look at that was it a charger fancy car bye future all right well Let's listen to some of these Mark messages and we'll uh, call them back. And look at this week, too. Oh, I am drinking a lot of beer. I feel drunk today. I feel really ripped. Oh. I've been drinking so much beer, it's coming out my ears. Beer ears, huh? Oh my God. What the hell's going on around here? Give me another <laughs> beer today. Rebecca's doing the voice too. Give me another beer today. Give me another beer today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, did we go too far? Oh, no, we didn't. This one. That was last Saturday. Jen and Alex.
Give me another beer. Hey, future test the past. Oh, Mark, look for more messages. you back. I'm Dr. Mad Man. I'm mad as hell. Listening to your messages, and oh. uh, Rebecca was repeating one of your voices. It was like the, oh yeah, oh my god, that was a funny one. And then, oh. and she was doing it in the background. Do you hear that one? Remember that? Yeah. What about the uh, what about the angry one? Yeah, you were threatening violence on somebody. I was just having twisted humor. That's yeah, all. Yeah, no, that's fun. That's good. Twisted humor is all in good fun. I know you like that twisted humor because of metal music and stuff, right, Mark? Well, like uh, when I promised Here's everybody a bunch of candy fine. and steaks and donuts and everything. Yeah, food is good. Yeah. What What are you What's for dinner? Huh? What are you going to eat? You got uh, more cold pizza or something else today? Hamburger. Mmm, yeah? Really? Hamburgers, like with bread and stuff? or Fried uh, hamburger on the, on the stove. Just, just a piece of hamburger, huh? Yeah, homemade hamburger. Bread, bread and stuff. Yeah. Hamburgers, yeah. What's uh, good? Um, you should see the stage setup they had for uh, for Metallica one time. Oh yeah, when? Oh, it's a, oh, I saw it a couple months ago and. A couple months ago? Well, on TV? Yeah, well, on on a video. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they had like lights that probably cost you a lot of money to set up and stuff. Yeah. Where do they play this somewhere far away on TV, huh? Yeah, Brooklyn. Mm. You like Metallica? It was, just a, it was just a video. You like Metallica? They're all right. You, yeah. What do, what's your favorite? Pant Pantera or something or? I like Pantera, they're good. You like Pantera more than Metallica. What's your what's your what's your favorite one though from back or your one of your preferences? 
Probably Pantera. Pantera, but your old. What, what music did you listen to that you're trying to kind of the metal Ozzy. music? Ozzy. Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy's good. Um, and Judas Priest. Yeah, Judas Priest. That's where. That's where your music. I hear it in your music. The singer became gay, and so they called it Judas Penis. <laughs> I think he already was before yeah. he started the band. That's why everybody dressed up like leather, like all the metal people dress up in leather now. Hey, are, are priests supposed to be celibate? Yeah, Judas is like the... Um, why do they like none? Why? None, get it? None. None, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Judas is like the guy who betrayed Jesus, I think. Mm. Yeah, so he's, uh, it's a... What? What's Rebecca saying? Oh, she said hi. Hi, oh. All right. You been, uh, he watch? Said hi. He said hi. This is a peel out fair. We'll be our way. No. Uh, yeah, we can get on the bus. There's a, tr there's a, um, uh, the, uh, what's it called? There's available ways. Yeah, there's the, uh, the, the, the attack, or no, what's it called? The shuttle. There's a shuttle that goes from Tacoma. You ride the bus to Tacoma, and then you ride the shuttle to the Piaf Fair and ride it back. Yeah. That's what I want to do. If you're rich or anything, you can uh, take a cab. Yeah. But we're not rich. Get a $100 Uber. Yeah. Gonna, I don't know. Are you going to make it around the fair? Did you go to the Thurston County Fair? Uh, no. Well, you want to go to the state fair, not the Thurston County Fair, though? Uh-uh. Hmm. It's probably fun. I like the, the fair. Same thing every year. I don't go every year. Only sometimes. I only rarely go. I had my picture taken and putting on a shirt. At the fair? And it, yeah, and it, on the top of it, it said wanted. Yeah. It's just a gag thing, you know. What'd you do with that? At my mom's house. Did she, did she ever wear it? Uh, a couple times. <laughs> yeah, but mostly you just put it on the wall? Like why? I lost all of my uh, concert T-shirts oh. and that one. Oh yeah, in the movie. When I moved out of my mom's house. Why? I can't even bring it with you. I told him I'd be back the next day, and I couldn't make it the next day. And then on the day after that, I came back, and they were all gone. Oh, that's too bad. Dumped. He dumped them. Oh, he dumped in the garbage. Yeah. Oh, not even at the donation spot. I had guitar chords that were still in the wrapper, and he dumped those, too. That's too bad. Is that the brother you got in a fight with? Yeah. Was that part of it? You never forgave him? No, that's not the reason we got fighting. Yeah. The, the, you forgave him for that part? I don't. I didn't forgive him for it. You didn't? Well, maybe you should. I had a yellow toolbox that had black on each side of it. Yeah. And that had a whole bunch of my adapters and stuff in it, and he tossed that too. Lots of things. Yeah. Well, how come you... All, all that stuff was thrown away because I missed one day of coming over. Yeah, how come you couldn't make it? Because I didn't have enough money for a cab. Yeah, that was a whole day, though. Yeah. Yeah, you probably... He, yeah, I don't know. One day is... That's 24 hours notice. For you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, said, he said, you're not coming over, I'm going to dump it all. Mm hmm. That's and too he bad. He did. He dumped it. Well, at least he warned you. I, I, you got to forgive. What else can you do? Three of my, three of my racing trophies were, were thrown away, too. What kind of racing? Motorcycle. From when, like, from a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. If you... I managed to get two of them. Uh huh. How? But the other ones were in the locked cabinet, and I didn't have the key. Mm hmm. He threw them too. You'll never know. Nobody's ever gonna believe you. Yeah. You say I won five trophies, and they say, well, "Where are they?" You say, uh, "They're gone. I only have two left." And yeah. People are gonna think that you're uh, making it up. Yeah. Yeah. 
I had nine trophies all together, and most of them are gone. It's probably too many, really. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with that many trophies? I think if you... I want, like, half a trophy. I only got two trophies in, in this apartment. Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, probably a lot. That's a very... You know, you don't need trophies. They're very hubris, and it's like, look at look what I got. I, I did a thing. You get a trophy. Like, who decides... Like, who gave you a trophy, and who decides who gets the trophy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it. That's the show, Mark. Is that the buzzer? It's the buzzer. Okay, well, hey, I'll wrap it you later. You keep the guys rocking. Yeah, you, yeah, thanks, Mark. Keep calling, leaving messages. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. We made it. Who would have thought? Oh, I ate a lot. I ate almost the entire burrito. I'm very full now. Bum 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 bum. Thanks for watching. It's Saturday. We're on TCTV channel 22 at 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, whitehwm.com. Three six zero eight three six or three eight four. Call me a message. Get on TV. One nine seven number three. Yeah. UFO FBI it's a good song. Thank you. TC TV. La Bebe. Jordy Fabulous. Graham Graham. South by Condor. Moves through the sky. Watch the USA. Thank you and viewers. See you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.